I'm back. I'm back and I'm better. Cheers. Cheers. Blessings that you don't see coming. Let's let's have some fun with this one. All right. Blessings, 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 blessings. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. All right. This video is an unexpected video, actually. So that's why I'm titling it unexpected blessings that you cannot see. All right, so something is getting ready to happen. I'm feeling a lot of turbo energy, so things are gonna be propelling a lot quicker in your life at this time. I'm gonna be channeling a message about unexpected blessings that are coming your way, things that you don't see. This is actually gonna help you create a manifesting world for yourself by expecting the best. Things are going to be propelling at a rapid rate in this time of your life, if you guys are here. So I no longer do one-on-one -on -one readings. If you guys are looking for rare readings that are more personalized to just 333 people, you can find that at thetarotchest.com. Otherwise, that's pretty much all I have going on except for my live mentorship that I'm teaching every month on the double digit. So next time will be July 7th, August 8th, 9, 9, 10, 10, 11, 11. And so every double digit of the month we gather together there's not very many earth angels okay i i see that people really don't believe or know themselves okay and that's what this journey is all about so if you guys are here this is going to be deep powerful messages of course but i just want to jump into it and kind of go with the flow with this one because once again it is an unexpected reading i'm just here to bring to you guys i hope that you're doing well i hope that you are coming down to the truth. I hope that you are opening your heart to truth. Opening your heart to truth is what I'm hearing at this time. So I'm excited to get into it. Let's see what messages you guys have here. So the way that it works is you can listen to the whole video. You can click, go down to the comment, click which image you are drawn to the most and listen to just that reading and get what you need. It is totally up to you. Just understand that it's not a coincidence that you are here. So however you got here, you got here. And I'm hearing for a lot of you, you made it. You made it. Do you even know how to celebrate it is what I'm hearing. So I'm excited to get into this reading. So I have three different decks that you guys can choose from or you can listen to the whole video once again. It's an honor to be here. Thank you for opening your heart to me. Thank you for opening your heart to me and your ears to the truth, allowing me to be an oracle in your life to guide you to the truth for the purpose of living the life that you deserve to. So this is unconditional love that I'm giving you, the universe. All right, so this is very, very interesting. Let's jump into it. All right. Wow. If you guys were drawn to card one, this is your reading. What you can expect coming soon. Oh my goodness, I did not even intend. Okay, so already we have the sun at the bottom. So we have a lot of fire, obviously, out of all three images. What I'm picking up from your image alone is just simply a fire has been lit in you and somehow, Okay, it could be due to friendship. It could be due to projects, ideas, aspirations. Your fire is being lit. That's a blessing. That is a blessing in itself. So we're going to take the sun card because it's here. And I want to just see what is card one, image one, currently going through. So yes, just based off of your image alone, card one, I'm getting a fire, a passion. Is If it has not already, it is you're on the verge of a breakthrough but you have to let it through, get out of the way and let it through is what I'm hearing. So, oh my goodness, everything, something about natural, I'm hearing the word something about natural is going to be very important to you as well. Let's just get into it. So what I'm getting for you already, card one, is that you heard it right the first time. Now is not the time to second guess it. You must trust your intuition is what I'm hearing. Now is not the, sec the time to second guess it. Second guessing it is an indicator that you're guessing, which comes from you and a mentality mindset, right? 
You want to be connected with love, passion, inspiration. You want to feel it. There's something that is going to spark that sparks this in you since you were a little kid. All right. And I believe that you've been looking for solutions for a long time, a long time. You could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You don't have to be. Okay. I'm picking up Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo. All right. We have water here, Pisces, Scorpio. So yeah, that's pretty much everyone. Okay. And that's another message. I'm talking to you. It's like you need so much evidence and proof that it's the universe that's talking to you. Okay. At the bottom of this deck, it's crazy. I can't make it up. Expect to hear from me soon. This is from your future self. This is a text message. Oh my goodness. No. Okay. I'm hearing now is not the time to second guess it. Second guessing it means you're not trusting your intuition. Intuition is that first instinct. And you know because it feels good. So if I say, what do you prefer, love or hate? It's that first feeling that comes to you. But then what happens is the mind comes in and questions it. And let me tell you, there are millions of different combinations. So what that means is there's millions of combinations to your destiny. Like it's like you trying to unlock an infinite code to your destiny. What does that mean? It means you'll be there for a long time trying a lot of different combinations. So that is trying to outthink it, outsmart the plan. And so now I believe that you're coming into a place right now where you have to honor your feelings and how you feel over what you think. Okay, that's the best way to put it. Okay, what else is here for card one? You have a lot of different messages, card one. All right. Six of swords in reverse, ace of pentacles in reverse, two of wands. All right, so you're at a crossroads with something in your life. It's going to change your financial status is what I'm hearing. It's going to require you to have to move away from some things that are creating. I, I heard the first word that I heard was headaches. That was the first word, headaches, um, anxiousness in a bad sense. Don't confuse anxiousness with excitement. You've been waiting for answers, waiting for an, an answer or a solution, a plan, a path. And with the two of wands, you're not sure of which way to go. Let's look at both sides. What can you expect from side? Thank you. And then one more for the other side. Uh-huh. Of course. Like I said, you could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You don't have to be. We also have the hangman here. So king of swords so this is about being in your mind trying to analyze trying to figure out and once again there are millions of different combinations that it requires for you to actually get to your destination so instead of trying to figure out all the details and how because you never figure out how until after you go through it Feel free to post me on TikTok. Feel free to click this. Clip this little section. So you have to go with the flow. You have to ride the wave. And that requires a lot of faith. Faith meaning not knowing. So there's not going to be a strategic plan and to try to figure it all out. Once again, there are too many combinations. You will be there five, six. I know I tried this one. An indicator. Okay. So something is shifting. You have two different paths. I want to know on one side of the king of swords in reverse, what's on this side? We have magic mirror, public persona. You are the product. Sales, social media, speaker, and leader. There is a flame being lit under you, leader. Now is the time to look in the mirror and see your true self. Okay, to see your true self. Look at this, intuition. 
So this is following your intuition. So we have the King of Swords in reverse. King of Swords, I used to refer to as Steve Jobs, someone who's very intellectual, someone who's very brilliant, very smart, all right, has a plan for everything, always figure something out. Like myself as a Capricorn, we always find solutions. So we don't really take much time to grieve any situation because the solution just appears. Okay, so that may be for you too. You may be a great planner or figuring things out, knowing which move to make. You might like chess. You don't have to, but that could be another indicator, right? You just like to stimulate your intellect. And like I always say, that's one tool. Your mind is one tool. But if you think it's you, it's just a tool. So you have hidden knowledge. So in this path, where you're not thinking, because we have it in the reverse, for those of you learning tarot, king of swords in reverse, when you're not being this analytical, logical, trying to figure this out, okay, I have a perfect plan, and then when I get this, I'm going to do this, and I get this, I'm hearing peace of mind in this next chapter, so yeah, the next bless, so the blessings, I'm forgetting, okay, unexpected blessings is a peace of mind. Right. So you have two different paths here. Now, on the other path, we have the hangman. The hangman, once again, even if you take the strategic pathway, you end up here in this position, the hangman world upside down. And the hangman also is about changing your perspective. OK, changing your perspective. So sometimes you have to be turned upside down to see it from a different direction. So what would be on this side? Confidence. We have confidence, walk your talk. I'm abundant, I'm abundant, I'm this, I'm that. Now it's time for you to walk in it and not talk about it so much, but to be the example of it. So you're being called to leadership, all right? So you're also being called to, and it could even be leadership in your family. You could be, you could be a grandparent. You don't even have to be. Do you guys realize how many people are connected to this truth? You could be called to being a grandparent in your family or a leader in your family, the oldest in your family or the one in your family that believes more. And so now it's time for all of the things you're telling other people to live it because you living it and being the example of it is the inspiration of it. Hey, wow, I see your con instead of saying, hey, da 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 da, because too many people are talking now. Everyone's talking about manifestation to the point where I'm like, huh, that's not how you do it. <laughs> like now it's being misled because it's oversaturated. And, and people aren't truly authentically being honest about their connection, which is why it's important for you to have a strong aligned connection with yourself so that you are not led astray. And to not ever be led astray, understand that God is love. God is good. All good is God. To feel good is to feel God, the presence of it. This is your compass everywhere you go. And lastly, God's voice is truth. So people who don't like to hear the truth, they deny God. That is the truth. God's voice is truth. This is the closest I can say as a clairvoyant, gifted human being, whatever they decide to label me as, connection with the universe that I have. And what I know to be true is what is true because it is. It just is. Truth just is. There's no debate about it. It just is. It's the final say. And the truth is, is that you are here to be happy and you deserve to live in eternal joy is what I'm hearing. And there are dreams that you've had since you were a child with the Six of Cups, things that you really love. And you could also be coming into contact with friendships. Very important, deep, deep friendships like deep at the soul so you could be meeting a cancer a pisces a scorpio you could be don't have to 
But this is the energy that I'm getting is that they're just going to hit you at the core and you're going to realize they're just another version of you. And that's what a true soulmate is. So we have the Ace of Swords. You're being led to a new direction. So the blessing, the unexpected blessings that are coming is confidence, bold action, being happy at work, meaningful, rich, and outgoing. So you are get going through a glow up, choosing yourself, choosing the path that feels truest to you is what you're here for. We have Lone Wolf at the bottom. All right, ambitious job hunting, work is play conquer fear so work is play so any other unexpected blessings what do you want card one to know we'll take this one let your feelings out <laughs> all of them even the ones that scare you so some of you will be channeling a lot of your emotional energy into your sacral chakra. So creative energy, a lot more pleasure. Once again, we have the sun card here. So pleasure, joy, passion, that's a blessing that is coming in. A, a soulmate, friendship, someone who could be bringing this out of you. Doesn't have to be, but something about them is creating a deeper bond with yourself and allowing you to feel deeper bonds with other people. So that's another blessing you have. You also have a solution coming in. So let's get clarity before we move forward there. Why is the Ace of Swords here? What is the answer to the question they keep dwelling in their heart? The answer is stop remunerating over what you did or didn't do. Let it go. Do your thoughts need a reboot? Focus on the good in your life. So so there's going to be another perspective, another path that you're not seeing that is going to be opening up here because the two of wands, you're only looking in two different directions. Understand there are infinite possibilities here. There's not just one path to the destination. You are the path. You're creating the path by following your excitement, following your desires and following what lights you up is what is bringing you success. So what other blessings do they have that's coming in? It's very important for you to be open to unconditional love. And part of that is sharing yourself online, social media. That's, that's unconditional love. If you want to feel boundless love, open yourself up to the world. It's a lot of love, right? To be my authentic self, here I am just chilling, just casual. And to be accepted and to be heard, to be seen, it's a lot of unconditional love. So you have to be ready for all of this joy that's coming into your life. So what else is here for a blessing that's coming in unexpectedly? Affluence. So you are meant to do something that you're going to do has influence around it. And because of the influence, the influence, I always say influence is a currency. Influence is a currency. And we're getting ready to go into a space where there will be penalties for people who have influence, who are leading people to the truth. So meaning freedom of speech, censorship, they want to censor the truth because if you knew the truth, you would know just how easy life is and just how fun it was intended for you. How much exploration, how it always works out no matter what how it always comes through no matter what. And if you know the truth on how easy it is, how easy it is to heal yourself, how easy it is to be successful, to be financially free, but most importantly, to be happy, to be in joy, to know what you are, to know who you are. It's bigger, it's bigger than humanity. So influence, I'm getting a lot of that. So we have quick cash, deep pockets, assets, Patron, and money flow. So this is something that's coming in due to your influence and the affluence of abundance. 
is due to how many people you're connected to. It's because of you that I'm abundant. So the more that I expand, the more that my abundance expands, the more that your bills grow, it's actually expanding you. So if you have unexpected expenses, it is because you are being expanded. If you have children, you're being expanded to learn to receive more. It's a good thing you're being stretched at this time in your finances. So is there anything else that they need to hear? Card one. So yeah, the biggest thing here is the sun card. In order to get to the joy that you're seeking, you must be open to changing your perspective and how you're perceiving. All right. You are stronger than any giant. Okay, so you're coming up as a someone who's victorious, someone who has talents, secret talents that sometimes maybe people don't know entirely. Okay, you're an overcomer. You've been through many, many obstacles and you're still here. What you believe becomes real. Messages from your future self. So in this time, what you believe is becoming real. What you're focusing your attention on. What you think to be true. Once again, second guessing. Second guessing is what you think. We don't want to think. We want to be at peace. We want to be at peace. Being yourself will inspire others. I just mentioned that. Be your authentic self, and that's what I'm learning. Either you love me or you don't. I just had a desire to get this truth out. A connection I've been seeking all of my life in many different places, in many books, many different destinations. What was the truth? Imagine yourself exploring three new places, so exploration is big for you. So spirit wants you to start expanding by imagining yourself exploring three new places. So you also have a place that you're going to be going to here very soon. So that's another unexpected blessing that's coming in for you. Okay, it could be somewhere by the water. You must believe in the power you have. All right, so at this time, spirit is communicating with you. You are in the process of strengthening your communication with the universe with yourself, getting deeply connected with this version of you, going through a re reboot of your thoughts. Are they centered around what feels good? Is it centered around love? This is all what is orchestrating the next few blessings that are coming into your life. So unexpected blessings are at an all-time high. Confidence, glow up, image change. So I'm just seeing that out of all three cards, your image is the one where the person is on top of the mountain. So I'm definitely feeling like you're, you've overcome a lot. And I believe there's a very, very big shift happening in your life at this moment. And just because you can't see it happening in front of you does not mean it's not happening. And it's happening above you. And so if you knew that it already worked out in your favor, what would you be doing? So... This is what I have for you, card one. Unexpected blessings coming in, communication from the universe, resolutions also coming in, answers, uh, revelations that are gonna be coming in, lifetime things that will change your life for the rest of your life. So those type of revelations are what's coming to you. And I'm also getting card two. So, whoo. Yeah, so if you guys are here, follow me on Instagram, it's energy. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to card two. Card two. Let's see. Unexpected blessings heading your way for those who are attracted to card two. Card two. What's going on with card two? Card two. Card two. Card two. What is good with you? Card two. Yep, 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 yep. Some things are changing. You're getting thrown into the deep end is what I'm hearing. And you've got to just teach yourself how to swim. All right, we have the seven of pentacles. We also have the full card peeking out here. So I'm going to do one more shuffle. Seven of pentacles, something that you've been waiting for a long time is getting ready to happen for you. 
you've been waiting a long time you could have been saving a lot for this as well so seven of pentacles you could have been saving a lot let's see what else is here for card two those who are called to this unexpected blessings coming their way all right, so we have celebration here, harmony, friendships going out. So a lot more social activity is something I see, something that's paying off, all right? And we also have the King of Cups. So this could also be someone that you're manifesting at this time. Let's see what this Seven of Pentacles is. What have you been waiting for that's coming through? Rising tide, so your ships are coming in here. Your ship comes in entrepreneur, work at home, freedom, reward, luxury. All right, so you have something that's getting ready to change and it's happening very quickly. And maybe this is you. I see you in a place where you're gonna be a lot more emotionally fulfilled, a lot more emotionally stable, okay? Like certain of what you love, what you want. You will be razor sharp focused on the direction at hand and that is tribe community, support, and I also just, I'm going to read this this way, and then I also feel like you're meeting somebody, okay, because I'm getting two different energies here, so seven of pentacles just tells me that it is usually patience, you have been watering your seeds for a long time, and I'm seeing the fruit is getting ready to be harvest, all right, the fruit is fruiting, it's showing, so people are seeing you and I'm I you guys could have been drawn to another card I'm going to move this out the way because card one card one wow if you're still here if you're still here card one I'm talking about your energy is electric people are not going to be able to take their eyes off of you even if you're hearing this and you're not card one it doesn't matter but if you are card one coming over this is especially for you okay so it's something about your energy and your aura understand it's you all right, so now we're getting back into card two. All right, let's see what else is happening here with the four of wands, clarity. Full cup, okay, and then we also have another card that we'll take. And then tell me what this king of cups is as well. I'm, I'm reading card two differently. So we have holy grail, seeking the holy grail, life mission, greatest desire is to know your purpose here on earth is your greatest desire, card two. So we have thirst for more fulfilled. So some people will think, wow, you've done so much. Why do you, why do you want to keep going? Why do you want to keep expanding? And that's because you're meant to be the greatest. I want to say of all time, but time doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. You're focused on the greatest. All right, and this isn't about an ego type of thing. This is about being seen. And when you're seen, the message is heard. You have something to say to the world, something you're passionate about, something that you wanna share with others, could be with your family, with your tribe, with your community. At this time, I see you surrounded by a lot of people. These people are having fun, is what I'm getting. They are having fun on vacation. <laughs> And it looks like a really, really good time. So fulfilled, thirst for more, desire, life, mission. Let's see what else is here. Discern, screening your options. Okay, so you're going to have so many people around you at this moment in time, which is coming in unexpected blessings, which is opportunity, friendship, support, community, tribe, family, something finally paying off. It's fun finally coming in. You're starting to see the fruits of your labor, more money, more resources are coming in here, and your cup is feeling full. You're like, how can the universe keep pouring if my cup is already full? And that, the runneth over the cup, holy grail, is what we call the abundance, wealth. You're so fulfilled that you literally don't know what to do with this money. You're thinking of new ways, like, okay, how can I spend this? How can I, okay, we can go here, we can go there. Hey, I'll even pay for the tickets. So what that tells me is your love for people inspires and expands your pockets because you want to host the event or entertainment or bring people together and you don't want people to have to worry about this stuff or you want to hire a chef, whatever the case may be, you want to provide for the people you love, including your family. And that makes you even more abundant because you desire to share. So you're expanding yourself. Whereas if you were just one person, I mean, one person could be a plate of 
thousands of people's desires. However, a new car, I'm hearing for some of you guys. How, for instance, if you have children, it's the message that I said at the very beginning with the collective, when things go up in price, we're, we're like worried or all oh, the this and that, and now I have to, and now she wants to go to, I think in my webinar, she said, and now my daughter wants to be in all these Olympic things because she's winning. And it's like, yes, expand your mom. Yes, she's expanding you. That means more is owed to you. More is coming to you. If it were just you, you wouldn't have as much. People don't realize energy. Like I said in the last video, <laughs> people think not paying bills would make them richer. It would make you broker. Broker, if that was a word. It would make you broke. Why? Because your desires go down. More desires, more fulfillment, more resources, more abundance. People who have a lot desire a lot. It's that simple. It's very, very, very simple. So if you don't have desires, not much comes to you. And if you have children who you desire to also fulfill, you expand even more. You expand. You're just abundant. And so you will be able to provide that. You will be able to provide for many people. And that's what you're actually positioning yourself into, being able, but you have to learn that you have to help yourself first before you start pouring into others, especially others with holes in their cups. You're pouring, 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 and they're not retaining it. So that's where the discernment comes in is you've got to know five of swords. You've got to know and trust your instinct when it comes to people at this time. If they are not excited about what you're doing, if they are not invested in the conversation of you, very bare minimum, if they are not invested in the conversation of you, do you know what that means? That means are they asking about you? Do they genuinely want to know? Or is it just a conversation starter of how are you? Do they genuinely want to connect? Because you're in a space right now of finding people who are on your same frequency. What does your higher self want you to know right now? All right. And there's a lot of worry about money. Okay. Once again, with the bill situation, I really hope you guys can understand this truth because it is the most simplest way to say it. So someone in the webinar, level 11, fly to level 11.com. So I do that every month. Someone in the webinar said if they didn't have bills, if they could just save, but then they lived with someone, they didn't pay anything, but they still couldn't manage to save to get this one part for their master invention that they're gonna do. And I'm just thinking, if you knew that you should never, you have to put yourself in a space of abundance. So now that you have no bills, you don't really have many desires versus going out and finding a place that you actually love or are inspired to be in. And that alone attracts opportunities. You just doing that will attract an opportunity because you have more desires. So no bills, no desires. So why does the universe need to send you anything? Think about that. If all, you, all I have is my phone bill and I just can't seem to manage to save. Exactly, because you're in that same mindset. Mindset of money and, and saving here, and it's a lack mentality all around the board. You're trying to attract abundance with a lackful mentality. I'm going to save and not pay her anything, and I'm just going to save it all for this. And that is a lackful mindset. So you're already telling, it's like doing it on a budget. It's like, hey universe, I'm lackful over here, but not over here, so send me more. Doesn't work like that. Go find a place you actually want to spend and be inspired about it and watch random opportunities come. Now the universe sees your vibration as, oh, you actually desire to have two houses. I hear some of you are gonna have multiple homes. A lot of land, acres of land. In fact, in the webinar, there's people who are manifesting 80 acres of land to turn communities into places where people can dwell in a high vibration. It's happening. So this is another confirmation. Your dreams are happening. They will happen. So let it go and enjoy the ride. 
but we're worried about how and money. Okay, so I only know that because I have the six of pentacles in reverse here. I, I see some other cards pickling, uh, shuffling through. So I just want to see what does your future self want you to know? If you guys are here right now and you can hear me talking, what does your future self want you to know? Expect a gift within 30 days. Expect a gift within 30 days. So now this is the fun part of manifestation when it actually happens. <laughs> but now somehow we've thought, in, we've thought manifestation is strategy. We talked about this. If you're strategizing, you're not doing it right. Once again, there are millions of combinations to your destiny. You will be there plugging them all in and some people do it and they transition. And maybe in the next lifetime, they'll finally follow their intuition and let go. Let go of the control of the how. You have to be comfortable with your feet dangling, entrepreneur. So you have to be comfortable with receiving more is what I'm hearing. So what else does your higher self want you to know? And then we're going to get in the King of Cups. Create a board with your visions to manifest all your desires. So people always get this very misconstrued. They think a vision board is something they have to go get, make happen, and do. Your vision board is your literal vision. You might as well say it is your prediction. You are predicting your own future. That's the biggest truth. <laughs> like people are at these small little truths. I'm like, um, guys, did you know everything on that vision board? You're telling yourself, but how do you know out of all of those images? How did you know this one was the one you wanted to put on your vision board because of how it made you feel? You visualized yourself there. It's, it's deeper than visualization. And I know we say that's part of it. Yes, we can only use so many words. That's really what the truth comes down to. The truth is outside of language. It is so much more than words. Your vision board and everything that you put on that board is what you desire. Your desires are clues to your destiny, what you're here to experience. You're telling on yourself. You're telling yourself what you can imagine. But once again, what are you following to put these images on there? It's how you feel. So how much strategy goes into making a vision board? And if, it, and if there is a lot of strategy, because I'm starting to think of the last person I did a vision board with, and I mean, it was words over here, it was color coordinated, it was this, it was that, and it's like your vision board, an image of somewhere that you see yourself. It could be, I'm seeing destinations. I'm seeing cars, a lot of traveling. Okay. A lot of traveling is coming in your path and is what you're meant to do. Okay. Lots of traveling is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing multiple properties. Okay. That dream home. There's a reason it's on the board. You're predicting it right there. You're telling yourself. Now the issue comes when you think you have to strategize and manipulate reality and now manifest because it's become a action word to make it happen. Anytime you have to make it happen, get out of there, close the book, turn the movie. You don't have to make it happen. It's already happening and it will happen no matter what. It's just, do you want to enjoy the ride or do you want to be panicking about, okay, is it going to be here? Is it going to be here? How am I going to get here? How am I going to get there? Okay. So, okay, we're going to get into that. <laughs> You definitely have someone that you're manifesting, okay? Um, and they will inspire you. And again, it could be a friendship. It can be a lover. You take it for where your desire is at this time. Whatever you desire, you will get. So even if you're lying to yourself and you do desire more love, be honest with yourself. That is a form of love. Honesty is a form, the highest form of self-love, I would have to say. So everything on your vision board is what you're here to experience. That desire and that feeling that you get when you see it, that is your confirmation. You don't need a tarot reader to tell you that. 
which is why I've been changing a lot of my videos to the 1%. So you don't need a tarot reader to tell you that. In fact, all we can do is read this energy, but my desire is for you to go deeper and understand you have this connection. All right. So this King of Cups, okay, keeps coming up. This is definitely you in a, a state of more emotion. See, I told you four of pentacles at the bottom, six of pentacles, money, money, money. But how is the money going to come? When is it going to come? It doesn't matter how it comes as long as it comes. It doesn't matter how it comes as long as it arrives. Correct? All right. So it does not matter how it comes. It only matters if you want to control. If you want control, it only matters to you. And we have to let go of control in order to actually open ourselves up to a fulfilled cup, a cup that is full. So you're in a you're coming to a space where you are fulfilled emotionally. And once again, you're coming up as the king of cups. And this is someone who has a cup in their hand and we have full cup seeking the holy grail. So you're seeking more. Okay, you have an appetite for something much deeper. And at this time, you'll also be very inspired. So whoever this person is will inspire you to create is what I'm getting. Who is this King of Cups? Give me another clue. Thank you. Ten of Cups at the bottom. Eight of Cups. Okay. So Eight of Cups in the reverse and the upright. So there could definitely be someone that you're walking towards you've had to walk away from a lot of different people and you will walk away from a lot of different people okay people will be interested but you are in you are looking for something deeper all right whether that's a friendship whether that's a partner a business partner a lover you are looking for something much deeper and it's going to require you to walk away from many different people who are not fulfilling your cup in order for you to find this person. So let's get another clue on this person. Oh, we have the 10 of cups at the bottom, of course, two of pentacles. So yeah, you will definitely be walking away from someone that you used to think about. So walking away from someone that you used to think about and okay because we have the five of cups yeah three of swords so justice yeah so walking away i'm trying to be particular because there's thousands of people who will see this card and hear this message uh, actually hundreds of thousands is what i'm starting to see so let me so with the eight of cups this is something uh, you know you're having to walk away from many different connections in your life it, no matter what the role is if it's not bringing any fulfillment to you, all right? And so let's just see what this card is. Okay, so something is going to happen. And I do see a flame, okay? So you are attracting a higher level soulmate. I hate labeling them. So it's like we have to label them for our understanding. We try to minimize how big this truth is. And it's like just for our understanding some things cannot be understood until you go through it also. So you won't know the how and you don't know the how until it happens. And then you're like, oh, that's how. Otherwise, what is your evidence that it's happened? You would have to go through it to say, oh, that's how it happened. So you know how it happened. Otherwise, why do you think you're gonna know how before it happens? It's judgment at the bottom, the moon, okay? You, whoever you are, you are, you have been undergoing a huge spiritual transformation. Uh, the way you see things, you have been growing at a rapid rate faster than you can even imagine. You've been outgrowing people, okay? You've been outgrowing people, but you have a, you're going to something that feels good. It's in your fortune here. Nine of cups, a wish come true. All right, so Ace of Wands, you don't know the path just yet. The path has not been lit. The path is hidden for a reason so that you are open to all paths and not just one. Because if you knew the path, you would just go directly to that path. But it's not just a linear path that we're talking about. We're talking about showing up in the right place at the right time. You know those things called coincidences? where everyone at that stoplight is, had left their house at a different time. If we followed everyone and rewind it, we would see everyone had a different circumstance, but somehow they all ended up in the same place at the same time. 
that is not a one path. And honestly, the path doesn't make sense, so you wouldn't get it. It's pointless for you to get the path beforehand is also something I'm hearing. You would not get it. It would not make sense to you. I never would have believed that I was going to be reading cards for, but I was so in a place of desiring to get this message out because there were not many people who were open to receiving this message. So if you're here, judgment, it is your time. And judgment is usually like we have here resurrection. So this is usually a call from God, a call from your spirit, a call from higher self. What does your higher, higher self want to say if they text you? What would your higher self say if they text you? Just release it. I didn't say it. Thank God I didn't have to say it. Just release it. Release what? Everything that doesn't feel good so that you can make room for all the good that is coming. You must make space for it. And also your attention and focus, where is it being given? So unexpected blessings, they're all tied in. You have the wheel of fortune. So you have a fortune coming in. How? You will not know how. Nine of cups, it is a wish come true. It is emotional satisfaction. Now, this also leads me to believe that you have a partner that you're destined to be with. Now, I would call this a twin flame relationship, but I don't know if we're ready to hear the truth of what a twin flame is. We'll save that for another video. Your twin will mirror you entirely, but the issue is that soulmates mirror you too. They mirror the version of you. Your twin flame ignites you to seeing the greatest version of you in all that you can be, which is why most of our evidence comes from a couples that are influential because the twin flame relationship is for the world. It's not about you, right? Soulmate, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, yes, that's for you. However, twin flames are here to impact and inspire the world. So whoever this person is as a, as a twin flame, they would spark literally the greatest version of you by just simply seeing them, you would be ignited. But now, where is the evidence of twin flames? You may be the very example of what a twin flame is because there's very few. Twin flames are for chosen few. The people who are here to impact and, and bring an influence to the world, they have been duplicated in another person. That's how powerful, and, and what it is, it's their love that's overflowing, inspiring, so impactful that everyone around them finds their true love because of their true love. See, we haven't seen many examples of true love, but we're getting ready to, and you are getting ready to. So true love is something you'll never run away, you can never run away from. It'll always be a deep fulfillment that you desire to feel. That's why you're here, to feel. To feel love is one of them. So you do have somebody coming in Could already have met them. However, judgment will see. That's why the judgment card is here. We'll see. Your twin flame will empire, in, inspire the world. They are already living their dreams. They are free. They are that version you wish to be. But have you even seen that version of yourself? They show you that version of yourself. Only one person on this planet can mirror that because you have to see yourself. And if the only way for you to see yourself is by seeing it in another. But we're talking about the greatest version. Now, soulmates are different versions of you. So it depends on, the. you can still live a fulfilled life. However, twin flame is not about karmic, running after this person, like no. Your twin flame is already there. They're there already. Like they're literally everywhere you desire to be, how you've been waiting, like, oh, I've been waiting for this. And they're already there. They're surrounded by people they love. Every day is a dream to them. Like this is real life. This is real life utopia. And it exists, but it's rare. And that's why I said, whatever this is, that's why I said high level soulmate, it's wherever, it's whoever you choose to be is who you will receive in another person. Which is why many soulmates say, they marry me, yes, which version? 
do they mirror? Because if they're not inspiring you, like they don't have, I'm not talking about, yeah, they motivate me. They're on the whiteboard. They're telling me every, I mean, just looking at them because they would be you, right? They would be your, your greatest self in a physical form. There's only one other person and it would be this person. And looking at them just makes, see, makes you see your greatest self and desire to be that without help. Like you're just like, it's, a, it's an enlightening thing. It's a revelation. These are not things that are strategic. It is something that just flashes in front of you and you see them and you're like, oh my gosh, that's the great, that's me and my greatest version. And when I mean greatest, let's get, let, let's, let, let's let the universe tell you what your greatest version of yourself is. And I'm, I'm going to use the Oracle words to keep it easy. What does the universe want you to see? Because this is what your twin flame would mirror to you. What do, what would, would their twin flame, mirror, what would they see? You are a generous person. You're very giving. Okay. You offer a helping hand. This person would be financially free. We're talking about the greatest version of you. So financially free. They're donating to different organizations. They could be a philanthropist. Charity work, donate, loan. Yes, reaching out. So this person is already financially free. They are living their dreams. They are aligned with their highest, greatest version because that's your greatest self. We got to get into the twin flame message because you guys want to hear. So this person would be generous. You wouldn't even have to ask. They would just provide. But once again, you would be ignited to your greatest version and would have to be before you were in the same vicinity of this person because they're in such a high vibration. Like they are not in... They don't have, like, people think problems like, yes, things come about, but there is a higher level of living here that exists where you're actually emotionally fulfilled. Now, give us another clue to what this twin flame would be. That just flew out. Direction, finding your way. They could be a mentor. So they've already found their search. Direction, finding your way, study, many jobs, diverging path. So this person is has also been going through a space of, following something higher than themselves, studying, getting into it. So this isn't someone who's not already looking into self-improvement, understanding self, law of attraction, um, a deeper connection with the universe. This person would have to have a deep connection with themselves, their creativeness, their expression. So they follow their direction of intuition and they're already living on this path. So some people may see them as a mentor, so they help a lot of people. Let's get another clue. Transition, ending, beginning, construct, new job, quit, tower of power, corporate, high rank, banking, moving, lost income, inherit, and hospice. Okay, so this person also did go through their ego death. We have good luck at the bottom. Fortune smiles upon you. Okay, so that's another word for you, fortune. That's a big, big word. Fortune, you're fortunate. People are going to think you're so fortunate, but you're highly favored, which is blessed by the universe. That is the truth, especially because you know this, but you had to go find it. Many people are not looking for this. So they already ended it. They're already in their new job. They are already in this space. They went through a transition and something that they are also in is a high rank of banking being at the top of their pinnacle. So this is like their home. They could live in a, a very nice building at the very top. They could have multiple properties. Once again, they will mirror the greatest version of you. So what would you have? And, and this requires honesty. Remember, the highest form of self-love is honesty. So if you were honest with yourself, how many places would you have? This, so you're in a place of receiving so much more. And that's why you've had to go through this ego death because that's not who you are. Your new life belongs to this new version of you, not this older identity. So this person is already in their pinnacle. So just seeing them, hearing them speak, whatever they're doing, you would, it's like... There's not many examples. I can't even think of many movies that can even encompass this type of level of love. It is so deep, but it has nothing to do with the type of love we're talking about intimately because that's why most of the time you don't meet your twin flame in the 3D. 
you meet them in the 5D first. You have to have time to even process it. Many of the things that you desire, you have to have time to process it and how to receive it. Because if you don't know how it happens, you can't receive it. You block it by doing that. I need to know how, okay. Okay, so that's something that you're working through. So what I'm doing is just seeing some of these spiritual splinters you're having. I'm saying, hey, let's go ahead and pluck this and pluck this spiritual splinter because this is preventing you from flying here. So whoever this person is, that's why I have to be very clear, you would just see them in their life and be inspired, but you would see you. Like if I were a person and I was, that would be me. And that's the difference between a soulmate and a twin flame. None is better than the other, it's just who do you choose to be in this lifetime? I'm telling you, it's not about, oh, yeah, this is the better person for you. No, because if you don't desire to live an aligned life and live your truth and be, you wouldn't even reach this person anyways. You would not in this lifetime, you wouldn't. So we have judgment in the moon. You're going and undergoing a huge trans, uh, transition in your life card too. So unexpected blessings that are coming in are due to everything that's shifting. So you releasing it is allowing other people to come in, including a wish come true, wheel of fortune, and a person. All right, a person, and you might even have a dream. You might even connect with the movie character. There's a reason why you're inspired. Get infatuated by when you're inspired. Okay, get to know yourself on that deep, deep spiritual level. Anything else you want them to know, your higher self to you, card two, what do you want them to know? If you're lacking confidence, you've lost sight of who you are. So to know who you are is going to give you the most confident. And we have the high priestess at the bottom, okay? You are very, very spiritually inclined. I'd say out of all three decks, card two, you are probably in a much higher frequency, if this is your first card that you're choosing, just depending on how you got here. See, it doesn't matter. You're going to get there. It doesn't matter if you came after card two or came after it's you're still here. And I'm hearing the universe is not going to forget about you card two. Okay. D oh, you guys can definitely check out the tarotchest.com If you guys want more readings that are a little bit more personal, the closest it's going to get to not a one-on-one, -on -one, it's going to be the readings from the tarot chest for sure. Anything else that you should know in this time before these unexpected blessings arrive and what unexpected blessings are arriving? No one said this whole life thing was a race. It's okay to slow down. All right. So spirit is saying that you don't get further because you're going so fast. Give your inner critic a vacation day. Be kind to yourself. So self-love is a gift. So that's something that's coming in as well is you're going to feel very confident about yourself when you're walking into some of these spaces, when you're around some of these people. That is something that is definitely going to be required to meet someone on your level is for you to be walking in your highest version of you so that you can start attracting this version in others. People are mere reflections of you. So it's just which version. And so I'm seeing to slow down, spirit is saying to be open to the manifestations of your dreams coming in and the tides are rolling in. So if you guys are here, this is card two. I'm gonna move on to card number three. Card three, unexpected blessings coming your way. Let's see what this is about. Unexpected blessings coming your way, card three. Where'd you go? There you are, yes, guidance from ancestors, from angels, protection. So that was something I was getting from this card here. So card three, if you were drawn to card three, what unexpected blessings are coming for card three? One blessing, two blessings, three blessings, four blessings. Okay, some of you guys are might be trying to rush things understand that the universe is very intelligent i know that you probably hear this often but i mean some of the things that happen in your life if you would have tried to make happen it's just there's there's no way to figure it out like it's just too intelligent to try to figure out the path so what i'm hearing is to allow things to come in good faith we have maturing affluence destiny wealth through purpose 
So we're going to start with destiny, wealth through purpose, life path, mission. So your life path is getting ready to be revealed to you or has been ignited in you. We have artists, self-employed. That's the second time. So card two got entrepreneur. You're getting self uh, employed. So this means doing something that you actually enjoy and then saying, Hey, I love doing this. I should share it with others. And then wealth comes from that. And that is your mission. So that is one is first step. A lot of us are skipping. We're skipping the joy part. And that is the most important part. That's actually what's going to allow you to sustain this and for it to be successful. It's actually an indicator that you're in the right space and you're doing what you're here to do that's going to be successful because you love it. Not everyone loves it like you do is what I'm hearing. Okay. Not everyone loves it like you do. Understand that. That's a confirmation. It's for you. So are you listening? Your life path is being revealed to you. Your destiny is being revealed to you, but it's bigger than just one path. Okay, card two might be great information for you as far as that is concerned. But now we're moving on from that and understanding that it's just your destiny. You're also coming up as a healer, which means, yes, you're a healer, but it is not your job to heal anyone. You heal yourself, others will be healed. It is very simple. Be the example of healed. And when others see the possibility of what life looks like, including in your health, they will want to know, hey, what are you doing? And that might be a business right there. That's a key indicator that you have something others desire for you to share. That's a confirmation. If people are always asking you for something, what are they asking you for? This is part of your life path, but understand that you must be fulfilled first. You must be fulfilled first. So let's just see what this destiny is here for. We have card three. This is your destiny, whatever this is that you love, that you're passionate about doing, it's going to provide money. Even though you enjoy it, you may not be thinking about how it could bring in a financial reciprocation for you. But I definitely see here that you do have a reciprocation of income and it's connected to your destiny, connected to you as an artist, a healer. Now, anything that you create is art. So there's no such thing as bad art. Yeah. Yeah. It's not even ours to begin with. It's coming from a higher space. So who are we to judge any art? So you could be an artist of some sort or have art, art in your fashion, art in your food, art in decoration, art in your expression of self is art. So every day you create what you look like. You choose the t-shirt, you choose the hair. You choose it. It's all your creation. You, I chose this chair. So it's all me. This is all just an extension of you. So once you know you, you know what belongs to you. And you don't have to worry about it coming to you any longer. Spirit has given you art and creations for you to share with others so that you can reciprocate. Now it says, enjoying the moment, no rush, time for all things. We are here now, be here now, many chances. So something is coming, you've been waiting a long time. What has this been? Three of wands, the waiting card, what are they waiting for? Tell me that, what are they waiting for? Communication, approval for someone to tell you yes for something, opportunities to come in, something different. So what is this eight of wands that's coming in for card three, unexpected blessings? Okay, I'm hearing you will have many things to share, share your creations, bringing in prosperity. So, some, so that's what's coming in. Eight of wands is very, very rapid movement. Something that you've been waiting for is prosperity, movement, objects of power, affirmations, make it rain. So you have a lot of income coming in, a lot of resources coming in from out of nowhere. It's like spirit has to say out of nowhere so you don't look. Because <laughs> if you look, you're going to waste a lot of time. That's the truth. So it's like there's something higher than you, higher than you guiding you to hidden opportunities. Dark places emerging full plate out of the most unexpected places arises prosperity. 
So you also have benefits coming in. You have authority coming in. A position in a higher place that I see coming in that's going to offer you more resources and you love doing this. Now, what is the clue to this? Okay, we have spotlight at the bottom. Spotlight at the bottom. So you are being covered and protected at this time to take a leap towards your dreams here, to release yourself from any fears that you have, any doubts that you have at this time that go against what feels good to you. Feeling good is feeling God. As I always say, when you feel good, you're feeling God. You desire to feel good all the time, right? So that's just saying I desire to connect with God all the time. I desire to connect with God also means I desire to connect with self. The version of me that is at peace, that is fulfilled, living their dreams and whatever they're doing is what you're here to do in this world, in this physical world. And you have a gift is what I'm hearing. And your gift is the, the vision of seeing. What are you seeing in your visions that are exciting you, that are bringing excitement to you? So you have a lot of fears here around how this is gonna happen, but you're coming up as a sister moon, which means you are guided by the light. You're being, you've been guided this entire time. Even if you're, on, if you're on this video and you're here now, you cannot deny the guidance that has been over your life. And that's how it happens. You, don't, you didn't know how that was going to happen. It's the same for everything else to come. And it requires you to surrender the outcome. Because there are many different paths. Seven of cups, many different things that you're going to be doing. And we have the queen of pentacles. So we'll take it down this way. So you're releasing these fears and in, in connecting more with the abundant version of you. Focus on your desires and let the the hows come to you. It's when you have desires that the universe sees that as a vibration and then creates a path of income, prosperity to match that vibration because you have a desire. Most people are just focused on the same desire. Let that go. Know it's already coming and act as if it's coming. What would you be doing? Go search for the house before you think you can afford the house. It's not about what you think. Miracles go beyond logic. And that's something here is that you're not going to figure it out. So the death card is here. All right. So death, death to what? Death to your ego, death to your mind. Use your mind as a tool that it is. Read, write, communicate. Language. But the processing of it is it's not the same as your intuition. Okay, there's a, a, another world of guidance that has been guiding you. That's why you're coming up as guided to the light. So this is a lot of hidden opportunities. You have the 10 of cups, seven of cups, and five of cups. So yes, you've had to walk away from things. It's been disappointed in some senses, but what I see as an unexpected blessing is family. I also see children. Okay, so you could work with children. You could meet someone with children. Children could be a big factor. Your own childhood could be a big factor. Getting back to what you did when you were younger, youthful, free, didn't think about all of these other things. Okay, so you have multiple things that you're manifesting with the Seven of Cups. It's not just one thing. The universe is mapping it out. So all happens. And it's all in good timing. And it's really not being patient with the universe as much as it's like, we need to be patient with the universe. We need to be patient with ourselves. It's not the universe, I promise you, it's not. It's us. If we're blocking how we receive it, then the universe has to deliver it a specific way. So, if we're only looking at one door, one path of it happening, the universe has already answered our blessings behind us at the other doors, but we did not allow ourselves to be open to all doors. Instead of just focusing on that one right in front of us, it's I'm gonna be open to all, and open to all looks like unexpected blessings. So basically, many people have blessings coming to them on this reading, however, they're not coming as rapidly because there's a lot of resistance. The resistance is in the energy of how. How tells the universe that it's not yours. Once you know it's yours, you start acting differently. Once you know who you are, 
okay? You act differently. The abundant, wealthy you who's already an artist, doing what you love, sharing, okay? You're coming up as a queen of pentacles, which is someone who has a lot to provide. And now it's time for you to receive. That's why we have the queen. This is reciprocation. Be open to receiving from places that are unexpected. That looks like being open to not knowing. Once you, once you say that, anything is possible. As soon as you know, it's like yourself just looks and waits. And it just slow, it's like you slow it down. And we would think we're speeding it up because we're thinking about it. But how do you feel when you think about it? Are you excited because you have it? Or are you sad because you're longing for it? Or you're frantic because you think you don't have it? It's all about your vibration. Feeling good is a confirmation. Feeling bad is a confirmation. It's all a language. Once again, you could be an artist. Lyrics, words, poetry, okay? You have me over here in the words. So I definitely feel like that could be, yeah, you are the author of your life story. So it's how you want it to go. What scene do you want to experience next? Which is why I'm, I'm glad we're understanding the truth about future. Because right now your future and what is unexpected here, yeah, we have the three of cups too. So we have more social gatherings, more celebrations coming in here for you. So rituals bringing in prosperity. So a great ritual that was coming up was to already go look for it. Go look for your desires. Go connect with them to where you're excited about them. And these are all confirmation of what is coming. You have multiple things coming. Like I'm seeing a lot of tangible items. I'm seeing jewelry for some people coming. I'm seeing a wardrobe change for some of you. I'm seeing more social events, trying different things, different experiences, expanding yourself to new events, vacations, things you would never do before, but you're opening yourself up to that. So you are growing an affluent. So you're becoming diverse and you're starting to see the benefits of that as well because now you're opening yourself up to more possibilities. So your life path or what you're here to do, you'll do many things. It's not just one thing that you're gonna do, it's gonna also be revealed to you. Okay. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. I said this. I said this in another deck. I don't know which one it was. Rich and famous keeps coming up here, spotlight. Once our entertainer at the bottom, this keeps coming out. Let's just get some clarity on what that is. I don't want you guys to have anxiousness it's just truly opening yourself up to more okay when you open yourself up to more you you become rich when you open yourself up to a lot of people you become famous that's it you're just connected don't psych yourself out about this all right but you i keep seeing this so i have to pull it and i also want to get a confirmation card three what is this message good luck Fortune smiles upon you, fast money, lucrative venture, paying off, flying high, plenty, service, thrive in community, similar goals, do your part, benefits for all, sweet life, guardian, that's another thing, so with the angel on your card, I was seeing that, so you do have a guardian that is encouraging you to take daring moves, okay, people are going to see you as a light, so you are definitely here for influence. Your art will be influenced. Your mission will be an influence. You as a healer will be an influence to the world. You are here to inspire the world. You are a star. You've heard this before. But just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. When you see it with your imagination is the greatest confirmation. That means it's created. It's there. You're seeing an image and it's, it's way more powerful than logic. It's a confirmation, it's a prediction of what you're here to experience. That is the truth. That's how powerful you are, okay? So let's see if there's anything else the universe wants you to know before we go. Card three, anything else about unexpected blessings coming their way? Life can be hard and life can be wonderful. Which one will you focus on? 
All right, so it's up to you which story you desire to experience. You have the choice. So I'm hearing that something is actually getting ready to come through a vision or a revelation of your purpose. And everything happens in good timing. You have to trust the timing. You have to trust and give yourself some credit for doing a good job at this life thing. What has your inner voice been asking of you? Listen and act. So now is the time to follow your intuition. That's really, really what I'm getting for these cards here. Following your intuition, being open to that. You also have influence in a community that's going to help you thrive. So you become more abundant based on your community, based on your influence. You can ask and it will be given to you because you will be connected to a lot of people. It's a lot of love that I see coming through and a lot of support you have to be open to. So you have good luck and fortune that surrounds you. You guys could be coming from card two. This is just a double confirmation here. We do have the five of cups. Card two had the, the eight of cups. So you will have to walk away from what no longer is filling your cup so that your cup could be filled and you can feel fulfilled. And part of that is either getting your message out and feeling good to share what you love, sharing your art, sharing what you know, sharing in general is what's going to bring inspiration. Enjoying the moment is here, being in the present, understanding that the future, you're already seeing it, you know it, you're, you're dreaming about it, you're visualizing it, you already know it, the universe already knows it, it's about letting go, enjoying the moment, allowing yourself to feel good in the meantime, feel fulfilled, feel grateful, full of goodness, and not to be so hard on yourself, there's there's nothing for you to do. And I think that that's the biggest thing that we struggle with as humans is thinking that we got to do something, got to make something happen. How, how, how it's so incredible that even the body heals itself. If we just get out of the way and give that little assistance, if needed, everything already is immaculate. We don't realize just how good we have it. So all you will feel is excited that this is your life. That's the feeling I'm getting, that you will be in awe that this is the life you get to experience, that this is your destiny. And there's no greater feeling than that revelation. So I feel like that's your biggest blessing that's coming forward. Also freedom of mind, so more peace, um, be feeling more calm, feeling more relaxed, not feeling like you always have to do something, really allowing yourself to be in the present moment and getting used to this feeling of everything's okay because that's the life that you're actually attracting so you got to get used to that and that's why your old self has to die because it does not understand how relaxed you're being when it only knows to be going 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 you will be at war with yourself right here like i got to do this and it's like no you need to just enjoy life because if you're if you were already living this life okay and you already are, you're coming close. It's not to say that it's bad or anything. There's nothing bad here. It's just you're expanding into receiving more here. You have a lot more to offer. And the queen of pentacles is someone of value. A lot of tangible items uh, uh, that are coming through here. So you are meant to experience that. You could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, just connected to earthly things. And there's nothing wrong with that. All of these things are extensions of you, but also allows you to express you. That's why it's important to you. So whether it's jewelry, um, certain cars, these are all extensions of you and it all go back so you get to feel good. You get to feel like yourself, like this car makes me feel like me. This jacket makes me feel like me. This smoothie makes me feel like me. This Pilates class makes me feel like, like what makes you feel like you? That's, that's where you belong. That's where your frequency belongs. And that's where your luck is dwelling. That's where you'll have good luck. It's like you're just, everything will work out. And I know you have a lot of questions. And in good timing, you will have the answers to this question and these questions if you just allow them to come and trust the outcome. The outcome is what your highest excited expectation is in your imagination. What are you imagining? Can you imagine if it does work out and when it works out better than you thought with ease, nothing that you had to do, nothing yet that you have to sacrifice, nothing that you have to cheat the system. 
It's gonna come easy and effortless. And you have to get used to that feeling. Ease and effortlessness because it's confirmation. So if you guys are here, I'm happy to do this unexpected reading for you guys. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you feel like you are looking to be ignited and also connecting with the light and the truth. And the light and the truth surpasses all religion, all race, all gender, occupation, orientation, and every other earthly label. The light. And I've seen it. I've seen it with my own eyes. When I look in the webinars, everyone looks different. We cannot segregate based on labels. Everyone is one. Remove the ego. Remove this vessel, and we are the same. So we can't get so caught up on what other people look like. All right, and so that's also for you. Don't be worried about what you look like. We all come in different shapes and sizes. We're all connected to the same thing. This is just a vehicle, just a vehicle. We have a make, we have a model of it. That's it, but we cannot segregate it. So the truth brings all together, all together. And it's the most beautiful thing I've ever experienced. It's unconditional love. Fly to level11.com if you guys want to be a part of the next mentorship. There's only 44 spots. So I don't really usually put it out there because it's a very small group of people. And that's because not everyone is on a frequency high enough to really align with this truth. And what does it require? Nothing. And that's the hardest part. That's the hardest part for us to accept. So anywho, it's just beautiful to see all different types of people under one room. And it wasn't food that brought us together. It wasn't someone was going to win money. It was just the truth. That was it. That brought us all together. 70-year-olds to 20-year-olds, black to white, gay to straight, whatever it is, it is all in this one space. And when I looked at that, I knew the power that the truth had. And that was to bring all of us together. And even my subscribers, if you're here, it brought all of you to this one channel. What keeps you here is truth. And when you see the other subscribers, you wouldn't believe what some of them look like. You would not even probably hang out with them if you seen them out because they don't look like you, but they are closer to you than your closest friend. And that's the crazy part. So maybe you are attracting more tribe and they don't, you don't look alike, but in spirit, you look alike. If you close your eyes and you feel the presence of this person or these friends coming in or friends around you that you're connecting to, it will feel like you. And that's something else that I'm hearing too. So sisterhood could be very big or just community or connecting is, is very big here. So yeah, service community. Okay. That makes sense. So yeah. So I love to see that with all of these subscribers, everyone looks different. They come from different places, speak different languages, and it's only the truth, the light that brings us together. That to me is incredible. No other place can say that. No other space can say that. We bring people together regardless of their label and description. Like all types of people are going to be there. Yes. And so to be a subscriber of this channel is really lit. It just shows us that the truth is capable of bringing the impossible together. Truth will unite people. So yeah, you could be an artist because now I'm getting Bob Marley, you know, just creating music that brings people together. Like when you play that song, One Love, don't worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right. Like, who doesn't resonate with that? It's everyone, old, young, male, female, everyone knows that that, that is powerful. And only the truth can do that because don't worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right. And that is the truth. So it's like, if you have the truth, you have gold, whether it's in books, songs, writing, script, um, being an athlete, you know that you're the best. That is the truth. You know, because if you're called to it and it's for you, you must be the best at it. And that's why it's important to know you and know what's true to you.
because that's where you'll find success. And success merely, you want to feel good about your, what you're doing. That's success. I want to feel good about what I'm doing and other people feel good also about what I'm doing. I want to share now my joy with others. I want to share this amazing thing I love so much with others. And that's also what brings you abundance. So at this point, it's become a podcast. Anyways, card three, this is your message. If you're here, it was my honor to be able to deliver this message to you. Stay aligned, meaning just feel good. Whatever you do, and it gets easier to feel good. Just don't put yourself in places that make you feel bad. Yes, you can still feel good in a bad place, but you deserve to dwell in the good space. You deserve to dwell in a good space. Your environment makes a difference. It contributes to your energy, okay? I'm out of here, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tribe. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next Pick a Card reading.